Thank the balance, she's all right. Are you all right, April? April? Are you sleeping? She's sleeping, bless her little heart. Boy, is she cute. Too bad she's just a chick and not a bird. April, wake up! Crow, I was so worried I thought the storm got you. Me? <laughs> Honey, I'm the sidekick. Didn't you ever read any legends? The sidekick always survives. So you're fine? A few singed tail feathers, and I'm so charged up sparks fly when I try to peck something. Other than that, better than ever. The sea air does wonders for my allergies. I didn't realize you had allergies. Exactly. Do you know what happened to the crew? As far as I know, they got away in the lifeboat. There was a lifeboat? One of those magic fold-up types, yeah. I guess they forgot all about me. I think the captain said something like, I let the wench drown and justice be done. <laughs> but uh, I could have been wrong. Any idea where the lifeboat is heading? South, I would guess. From what I can remember of the old man's stories about the sea, Tagade would be the closest civilized island. Any idea how I'm gonna get to the islands now? You could swim. Humans swim, don't they? They must or you wouldn't be here now. I don't swim. And nobody can swim that far. There's no land visible in any direction. Well, I'd suggest flying, but you don't have the necessary equipment. Why don't you try and find the closest island? I could do that, but I'd have to leave you on your own. Crow, I'll be fine. All right, all right. Don't blame a bird for trying to be a gentleman. Gentle bird, whatever. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Girls always disappear on me. Trust me. What the hell is that? Uh-oh, for some reason the story of the bloodthirsty cannibal merman of the Sea of Song suddenly pops to mind. Hi. Do you speak Arcadian? Guess not. Doesn't seem so bloodthirsty and cannibalistic up close, though, does it? Come over here and let me pet you. You're just like a seal, aren't you? Bloody typical. I told her she didn't believe me. Girls always disappear on me. Always. It's a drawing of a man cutting his finger open and squeezing some blood into a bowl together with some green, mossy stuff. Then he mashes it together and... Oh, gross! He dips a black pearl in it and eats it. That's barbaric. Maybe the stories about the cannibal merman were true after all. But hey, 
In the next one, he seems capable of speaking fluently with the creatures that brought me here. I wouldn't mind that, if it could get me the hell out of here. It's a drawing of a man, a human, sticking a strange polyp-shaped object into his mouth. Ugh! In the next drawing, he seems to be able to breathe underwater. Convenient, if somewhat radical. The walls look organic. And those blue things... I think they're polyps of some kind. They live inside the wall and are part of the structure. National Geographic would go nuts over stuff like this. There's water out there. Lots of water. I'll just drown if I try to leave. There's fresh oxygen coming through here. These polyps must process the oxygen in the water somehow. That's how I'm able to breathe in here. This is so disgusting, but I have to get out of here. It's a big seashell. There's a large black pearl inside the seashell. I'm stuck at the bottom of the sea with Bubbles the Mermaid. There has got to be a way to communicate with these creatures. It's a glowing green substance that's spread evenly across the walls, providing light and heat. This gets infected, and I have to chew off my finger to fight the gangrene. I'm suing somebody. How things I do to save the world. Worlds. I've always had trouble swallowing pills, especially huge golden magical ones. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Do you 
understand what I'm saying? Yes, we understand. Weird. I have this nagging feeling in the back of my mind that I shouldn't be able to understand what you're saying, but I do. You have passed the two tests of the Gatherer, Landwalker. Breathing water and speaking the tongue of the Merum. You can serve us now. Serve you? You have been brought here to serve us as the Gatherer of Tanyin. What's Tanyin? Tanyin is life. Tanyin brings light to darkness and sustenance to our caves. Tanyin keeps the snapjaw from our children and heats us when it is cold. Tanyin is life. Where does Tanyin come from? Our gatherers collect it from the caves and shores of the islands, but there is less Tanyin to be found each season, and we need help. How does Tanyin do all those things you said? Tanyin provides warmth and light. It draws the harvest close. Harvest? The creatures of the sea that we eat, the golden tail, and the weed eye, and the sand eater. Fish? You're talking about fish. The harvest, yes. That is what we said. The harvest is drawn to the light and to the heat. But the snapjaw are clever. They stay away. They know the light allows us better aim with our spears. Why can't you gather Tanyan yourself? We do. But we cannot move far from our cities, or the Snapjaw will hunt us and eat us. If we travel in force, we leave our men and children without guard. And we cannot travel too close to the islands, or the wing demons may catch eye of us. They leave our gatherers alone, though, so you have nothing to fear. Who are the wing demons? Ugly, leathery creatures who defy nature to fly up there in the sky. They are evil and live to destroy our people. Don't the Snapjaw kill the gatherers? Rarely. Your meat is bitter and tough, not soft and tender like ours. I won't ask how you know that. I think I've learned enough about Tanyan for now. You have learned nothing, but your training will teach you what you need to know. Are your people called the Miram? We are the Miram. Most landwalkers call us Mermen, or Mer people. But the Merim was our name in truth. Who are you, man? We are the queen of the third city of the Merim, enlightened keeper of the Tanyan, protector of the light. I'm sorry, your... Your Majesty, I really had no idea you were a queen. We are just a queen. Our function is to serve the people. To light our cities, provide food for our men and children, and to protect them from the snapjaw that hunt us in the dark. Do you know where my ship went down? The vessel you foolishly travel in above the water? It rests not far from the city, just past and beyond the Landwalker's bubble where you were first brought. I think it is dead. Do you know the island of Elias? Yes, we know the island of Elias. Our gatherers find Tanyan there, and the Merim once had a city in the shallow waters below it. Can you bring me there? Until your training is complete, you cannot go gathering. We cannot risk losing you to the Snapjaw, or to have you desert your duties to our people. How long will my training take? Six cold oceans. Six years? Sure, that makes sense. Everything in this world takes ages. I've been told that you worship an old god who lives in the deep. 
How did you come by this forbidden knowledge? I picked it up on my way here. Could you take me to him? You? No, we cannot. Unless you are Miram, you are not even allowed to speak of our sleeping god. Thanks for your time. We will call on you soon to begin your service. Until then, you should stay inside the Landwalker's bubble and away from the dark waters where the Snapjaw lurk. It's the precious substance called Tan Yan. No. It is of no value to us. Where did you find it? It looks very old. I believe one of the children found it just outside the city. Not far from the Landwalker's bubble. Among the seaweed by the rocks. We have used it for decoration in our hall. But you are welcome to it. Consider it a gift, gatherer. Is so thick and tangled, it looks almost deliberate. Here's another one of those crystals buried in the sand among the seaweed. There's an entrance to a cave back here. Judging by the amount of seaweed, it's a long time since anybody's been in there.
it's stuck. I don't think it's supposed to move. It's a circular indentation framed with the image of two dragons biting each other's tails. Almost exactly like the markings on my talisman. It looks like some kind of visual history of the Marim people. According to this first tablet... Oh my god! It turns out the Marim came to Earth inside a type of spaceship from another planet! They're aliens? Not that anything should surprise me at this point, but still. They look very different back then, though. It must have been a long time ago. Their ship looks to have been a living thing, according to these drawings. Wait a minute. Could this be their ancient god, one of the dragons? I think it has to be. After they arrived on Earth, their species divided in two. One crawled into the sea, the other onto land. What does that mean? This must be a while later, because the Marum look like they do today. At least, the ones who went into the sea do. The other ones? They have wings. If I'm going to guess, I'd say that the ones who went to live on land became the Alation, which means the Marum and Alation are related. In this one, they're living close to each other and in peace. And it seems they share equally in the production of Tan Yen, which attracts fish for both peoples to eat. Then something happens. Or, it looks like, and the Marum and Alation move away from each other. In this last one, Tan Yen is beginning to become scarce, and the Marum are losing many of their young ones to the Snapjaw. They fear the elation, and they forget their common heritage. At the very end, there's a prophecy, I think. The Marum and the elation joining hands once again. When they do, Ten Yen becomes plentiful and both people prosper.
These tablets tell the story of how the Marum and Alation were once one people. They came to Earth and sought an ancient dragon and lived in harmony, producing and sharing Ten Yen. Then war broke out, and the two peoples turned on each other, which caused a shortage of Ten Yen and the death of many Marum. There's a prophecy at the end. One day, it seems, the Alation and Marum will reconcile and prosper. Talk for a minute. Yes, Gatherer. We may. Why was the cave with the altar and the wall painting just outside the city abandoned? What? Show us this cave immediately. I lit the cave by placing the crystal from your palace, together with three more crystals I found on the altar, and moving the stone rings into their correct positions. Can it be that you are... but you are a gatherer? You cannot be she. Who? Who can't I be? The water stiller. She who, by prophecy, will deliver us from strife and unite us as one people. She who will uncover the ancient shrine. Looks pretty ancient to me. This is the shrine, yes. And you have brought light to the darkness as well. But the other prophecies, you have not fulfilled them. You have not proven yourself to be the water stiller yet. How can I do that? Come back with us and we will tell you. Who is the water stiller? She is of the prophecies. She will bring an end to strife and unite our people. How can I prove that I'm the water stiller? You have uncovered the ancient shrine and brought light to the darkness. But this could be just chance. You must show us the witness you carry of your mission to the balance. The talisman! Damn, I lost it when the storm hit us! You must also kill a snapjaw with a spear, and then you will have proven yourself to us. Once you have done this, we will aid you in your quest to make us one people. Where do I begin? Take this spear and slaughter a snapjaw. This must be done to prove your strength, and to prove you are of the Miram. Where do I find the snapjaw? If you are the water stiller, you will find a way. I'll need something to bring back to prove that I killed the Snapjaw. This tooth will do just fine. Oh man, that's sharp! I had no idea Snapjaw had razor teeth. If I did, 
Better not think about that now. Here's a tooth from the dreaded snapjaw that guarded the shipwreck, proof of my strength and courage. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stiller. Here's proof of my mission. A magical talisman with the sign of the balance. It means that I'm the 13th guardian of the balance. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stiller. niche containing what appears to be a shard of a stone. It's a piece of the stone disc! No, wait. It's only one half of a piece. It looks like it's been divided in two. Strange. I've taken from you the object you've kept hidden for generations. It's part of the disk that will restore the balance and save the twin worlds from chaos. You have indeed fulfilled all but one of the prophecies. You might yet be the water stiller. We would not have thought she would come in our lifetime. Good. Then you'll take me to your sleeping god. There is but one more prophecy you must fulfill. There's more? Sure, there's always more. That's the fun part about prophecies. You must unite our people once again. But you said you were united, that there's no strife between Miram. The Water Stiller will come to bring our people together again, to unite us and save us. This has still not come to pass. Until you do so, the prophecies of the Water Stiller have not fully come to pass. I think I know now what the prophecies mean when they say your people will be reunited. The Miro are at peace with each other, yes? But you're not at peace with the Elation, the Wind Demons. They are our enemies. Right now they might be, but it wasn't always like that. Not according to the carvings in the Temple Cave. What do you mean? Once upon a time, long ago, the Miram and the Elation were one people. What? This is heresy. 
I'm just telling you what I saw in your temple. This was a very long time ago, and the one species soon divided in two. One sought refuge in the sea, the other on the winds. But both the Miram and the Elation were dependent on the other for various reasons, amongst them Ten Yen, which was abundant where the two people lived in close proximity to each other. Apparently, there was peace between your two people for a very long time, but then something happened, something that caused a war to break out. Both the Elation and the Mira moved far away from each other, and ever since then, your people have had a tough time finding Tan Yen. I think the only way to save the Mira from a slow death, and the Elation as well, probably, is to reconcile you with your, uh, common ancestry. How can we believe you, Water Stiller? Your words are too outrageous, and the consequences, were you to be speaking the truth, are grave. If you don't believe me, check out the temple walls. The whole story has been recorded there, probably when you first came to this place. But what will our people say? What will they think when we tell them they are brothers and sisters to the winged demons? You're their queen. And so you'll have to make them understand and accept their heritage. As must the elation, I expect. And I don't think it will be any easier for them to come to terms with their history. You must go to them, then, to find if our temple speaks the truth. And if they are willing to speak with us like civilized people. I guess I must. Water stiller or not. If you don't reunite with them, you will die. Eventually. We will bring you to the shores of their closest island, and we will await word from you on their answer. Does this mean you believe me? You are the water stiller. You are prophecy. We will follow your directions and fulfill our destiny. One of our people will bring you to Aleus, a night's journey from here. Once there, you will find the elation and speak with their leaders. If they agree to meet... Then we will do so in a place of your choosing. I promise I'll do my best. Goodbye. Safe journey, Water Stellar. We will hold on to the piece of the disk you found in the temple. If the winged demons, the elation, agree to meet us, we will bring the stone.